two, three. Uh, my dad was born in the uh, Upper Peninsula of Mich Michigan, and the town he was born in was Ramsey, Michigan, a mining community, which we mined iron ore. And he was uh, born in uh, April 9th, 1916, and he passed away April 9th on his birthday, uh, 2003. Uh, his family was uh, consisted of a total of seven kids and two parents, and he was about uh, in the middle of the pack as far as age is concerned. What was he like as a kid? Uh, kind of quiet, kept to himself, did all his chores on time, and uh, he liked the woods, so he found solitude in the woods, uh, fishing, camping, and hunting. Yeah, when my dad enlisted in the Marine Corps, they, he went down with his father, uh, Pear August Gustafson, to enlist, and he was at the age of uh, 26. So he was a little older than most of the soldiers that enlisted then. A lot of them enlisted when they were 17, 18, 19 years old, but uh, he was 26 when he enlisted uh, to go in the Marine Corps. the major uh, battles in the South Pacific, the Marshall and Gilbert Islands and the Solomon Islands, where they had battles of Tarawa, Tinian, Saipan, and Tulagi. Uh, he was in a company that was called the Pioneers, which was an engineering group, and they first took the islands by force and then built up the islands for uh, strategic locations on the way to Japan. In fact, Tinian, that's where the Enola game went off with the uh, atom bombs to eventually end the war with Japan. So they built the uh, outbuildings, outhouses, uh, mess halls, and so on and so forth for uh, the other wave of the uh, Air Force and Army. Uh, the battles that uh, he partook in in the South Pacific were uh, nasty, nasty uh, battles with the Japanese, and he didn't talk about it much in later years. So I got some information, but uh, I wish I got more out of him out of it. So it was, a, I think, a too trying experience to talk about it.
So my grandfather is without a doubt my hero for many reasons. Um, the first um, and most evident and definitely the one that gives the most universally understood pride is that he was a Marine and fought in World War II. He fought in battles of the Pacific, including um, Tarawa, and fought valiantly. And, um, and that's another reason why he's my hero. He's definitely one of the um, first people that I remember really getting a sense that they had a passion for something and a passion for our country and uh, certainly a passion for the symbol that is our flag. And um, that's a great thing for a kid to have growing up and also for someone to carry with them is that there's people in your life who have resolve and a cause and a passion and um, something to stand up for. That was another thing. He never put blame on on anything. If something bad happened, you, you either took responsibility for it or you figured out how to solve it and you just did it. So um, that was a, a great example as well to have early on and, and throughout my life. Um, so he just was a, a really magnificent guy and, and a hero for not only what he did and, and how he fought, but also for who he was and, and um, you know, uh, how he lived his life. When I was growing up, he taught me how to fish, hunt, uh, go camping, uh, values in life such as take responsibility for your own actions, uh, right and wrong, and it helped me in raising my family when uh, it was my time. And uh, basically, uh, my dad was uh, a great mentor and a great patriot, and uh, those two things uh, make him uh, my hero.